Hello, everybody. What's going on? We got cooking with Tom Tom in the house and Hello. in for the grill. Hello. Welcome to Smoke Sessions Volume 2. How you guys doing tonight? We're uh, just getting started, so we're hoping everyone's doing okay. I'm going to try to get the chat up. We're doing a uh, stream, a live stream from our mobile device. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to see your chat, because right now I can't see the chat boxes. So let me see if I can get that figured out. Maybe nobody's chatting. Oh, oh there it is. See? Sound and pick is good, says Hobo Nickel Barbecue. Thank you, man. That's correct. And I see your chat right there, so that's awesome. How y'all doing tonight? Um, should just pop up. They are, they are just popping yeah, up. Yeah, thanks. Christy's Cooking Channel, what's <laughs> going on? How you doing tonight? Hey, y'all. Hog and Smoke says Jello, Jello to you, man. Hello, hello, Tom. How you doing? Good evening to you. I I just saw when we popped on that you guys were talking about the weather, and uh, tonight it's gonna get a little chilly out. We've kind yeah. of had a gloomy November rainy day, so. Um, if I'm talking way too loud, let me know. <laughs> We're just trying to figure this out. Well, I'm going to... So, we went to the liquor store today, and we bought some scotch. So, we got the scotch, um, <laughs> and we got it because yeah. my, my dog as a child was named Dewars. So, apparently, here's the scotch to drink, and we'll just remember Dewars, the Scottish Terrier. We got a little scotch we're going to get into tonight. Yeah. So we've never tried this before. We did have a sample beforehand. Yeah, we've only had one glass of scotch prior to this, and that was a couple hours ago. So here we go. All right. Cheers to ya. Cheers to you guys. Happy uh, November 8th. Is it November 8th? I think it is. All right. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. Thanks Cheers for coming to out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Smoking Bucks from Harlington, Texas. Giving a shout out to Eric Gonzalez. What's going on, man? Thanks for coming by tonight. Also want to give out a shout out to Chris from Big's Home Cooking, dude. How are you, man? Thanks for joining us, dude. It's a pleasure to have you. Baker Barbecue. What's going on, Carl? Cheers to you. I know Carl does not like whiskey, so I'm sorry, man. We're drinking... Uh, we're drinking a little bit of scotch tonight. But that's okay. The wonder of this is everybody can just drink what they want, from apple juice to whiskey to yeah, y'all just a you, glass of milk. Yeah, y'all just hanging out. <laughs> Everyone, you know. Oh, Carl says he's drinking some vodka tonight. All right. I can drink to that, man. Cheers. Well, I think Dewar's is good. I think Dewar's is very drinkable. This is all right. Let's slow it down yeah, just a little slow bit. Slow it down. We'll take it easy. We're gonna talk about. All right, Chrissy's drinking some sweet tea. Nice. That's all right. Of course, that's all she drinks ever. You drink yours, and I'll drink mine. That's what Carl <laughs> says. Oh, uh, Hog and Smoke is drinking some uh, uh, Balvin. Now, is that um, that's a Scotch too, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. So we've never tried this Dewar's before. No. It is a blend, so we know that we're already kind of... We're slumming it a We're little slumming bit. it a little bit, but... but Meathead, okay. what's going on, man? Nice to see you, dude. We're slumming it a little bit with this Dewar's, but we never tried it before, and there's... I think it's okay. The guy at the store said it doesn't matter if it's a single malt or blended. If you like it, you should drink it. If you like it, you should drink it. It's very smooth. It's yeah. totally drinkable. Yeah. Doers, totally drinkable. Doers, you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Doers is okay. It's hey, drinkable. Johnny Onion, what's going on, man? Sending love to you right now. He's drinking some Coke. All we right. We drank all the single. Oh, Hog and Smoke says, come on, Matthew, drink out the single malt. Yeah. Well, uh, Hog and Smoke, I'll let you know that we did just finish a bottle of Ardbeg uh, scotch um, last week. So, you know, we know what's this up. This is this week's scotch. This is this week's scotch. You know, we gotta, <laughs> we've got a budget, but there's so, you know, there's so much whiskey out there. You got to try it. Oh, thanks, camera girl. Thank you, camera girl. <laughs> 
Carl, yeah, what does Camel Girl like to drink? Yeah, you can do it with doers. You can do it with doers. Yeah, do it with doers. <laughs> do, do it with doers. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's it what It is we're... like an old man bottle, though. This is like, looks like an old man's bottle of scotch. So the guy that we ran into at the uh, liquor store tonight... He, he got told guided us, on, yeah. yeah, he he guided us towards the doers, and he said that ninety percent of Scotch drinkers in America drink buy doers. drink doers. Do it with doers. Do it with doers. All right. So we thought we would give it a try. Oh, uh, oh on the rocks. That's uh, always on the rocks for us. There, yeah. Hog and smoke, always on the rocks. Yeah. No matter what, really, if it's vodka. Oh, Carl, if you're... Hello to the Barlow, says Michael at Everyday Barbecue. Go, what's going on, man? It's great to see you. Joey B. Hey, I saw you. I have some tea as well. Yeah, we're drinking some tea. We're trying to keep it chill. All right. What was I just saying? I was talking I about... Um, oh, shoot. Damn it. Um, you were talking about um, drinking? You were talking oh, about Carl. It. Yeah, Hi. Carl. Carl at Baker Barbecue. You're drinking some vodka Cheers, right now. Cheers, hog and smoke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not for me. <laughs> um, Carl, let's get to that vodka. You're drinking some vodka right now. Um, I I was away from vodka for a little while until we visited Martha's dad down in Naples, Florida. And he drinks a vodka drink that he calls a garbage. Oh, yeah, the garbage. And it's a glass like this. You got to fill it all the way up with crushed ice, not cubed. You got to do it crushed. And then you add, you fill it all the way up with the vodka of your choice. And then you're going to throw in a couple cocktail onions and a couple olives in there. And you're going to mix them in there. And man, I tell you what, that's the way to drink some vodka. It's like a little salad bar going on. A little on. boozy salad. A little boozy salad bar going on in your <laughs> drink, man. You got the olives and the little sweet cocktail onions. Yeah. That's an idea for you, Carl. We're trying to keep up with the chats as you guys uh, yeah, keep chatting I could away. Yeah, all was something about Christy being three C's, and I'm just trying to... Hey, uh, Christy, I want to tell you right now that we love your fall family pictures. We love your fall family pictures. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, of course, it looks like that your Jeep, your Jeep picture has been the most popular one. And I, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. It's a really, really good one. All of them are awesome. You've got a, looks like you've got a beautiful family. So yeah, we were thinking that maybe we needed to get to rent a Jeep or just find somebody else's yeah. Jeep and do ours in front of it. So it could be as good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, folks. Vaping tonight. Apparently, that's not cool anymore. Nothing's cool anymore. So, Christy, yeah, that was those are some great fall family photos we had going on. Um, I want to let's talk a little bit about some videos we've got coming up. Um, if you guys are at all interested, if you're not, just let us know, and we'll. We'll go off. We'll go back to drink, talking about drinking. Yeah, we'll go off <laughs> in whatever dis direction you guys want to. Uh, Robert Roy says he wishes he could drink liquor. I always end up throwing up. Well, try not to drink so much of it so quickly. You got to pace yourself, all right? Robert Roy, pace yourself. Vegan antelope? Vegan antelope. I'm not sure about that one, Chris. Is that, is that your video? The vegan antelope? I haven't, no. Not yours. Hope of okay. Pickles. Yeah. Yeah. Barbecue okay. Booze Club, what's That's up? That's right, Barlow Barbecue Booze Club. Yeah, we're starting it right here, mm -hmm. founding it. <laughs> but if you don't drink booze, it's okay. That's perfectly fine. It's you all can right. drink something else. It's always fun. Yeah, yeah. We're just here hanging out with you guys tonight, and that's what it really what it's about. We got this bottle of scotch earlier, and I, I asked Martha, I was like, do you want to do a live smoke session tonight? And I said no. No. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, you know, you should get used uh, to it. You can ask him about the beard if you really want to. Barlow Booze and Barbecue. Well, yep. we can try to take it easy. Uh, Barlow After Hours, if that's what Chris from Big's Home Cooking yeah, that's says. that's pretty nice. I like Barlow After Hours. What are you... Hobo? 
Oh, <laughs> hobo nickel barbecue. Now listen, oh we try to keep this family yeah, friendly. Yeah, that's inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. We're not really, we're not ready to get into how do our nuts taste uh, quite yet. Yes, uh, we drink beer. Robert we Roy asked if we both drink beer, and let me see, I missed it. What's our favorite oh. kind? Oh. And what's your favorite kind of beer? Robert Roy, um, what's your favorite kind of beer, Martin? Mm, cold? It's a cold beer. It's a good beer. <laughs> uh, my go-to beer is IPA, style yeah, I of beer. Yeah, all sorts of them. Uh, I don't like stouts or porters. Hobo likes to taste not... Uh, you guys just... Oh. Don't, don't pay attention to what's going no. on there. Pay no attention to the left-hand side of the street. Jabin at Postal Barbecue just saw you popped in. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight, man. Good to see you, dude. And we're, we're going to cheers. Cheers to you. I cheers too much. I won't be able to do this for very long. Yeah, we got to watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, beers. I like to go for IPAs are really my go-to beers. I don't like porters or... or um, I like those in the wintertime. Stout beers. If it's dark, I'm not really into it. Yeah, Postal Barbecue IPA is my favorite too. Man, I mean, it's hard to go wrong. And I didn't like... IPAs for the longest time. I didn't like the bitterness from the hops, and I really try to stay away from them. But one summer, one summer playing some uh, cornhole and uh, drinking some IPAs in the hot summer uh, Pennsylvania sun, that uh, converted me, and now I, that's just what I go for. I like the IPAs. I just don't like the ones that just taste like man. There's some that just kind of taste like sweat. Well, that's part of the, I mean, the flavor profile of an IPA. Yeah. There's that earthiness Some to it. Some of it's not like that, but Some of it is isn't. Good. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, bags. Cornhole, bags. We call it bean <laughs> hole, uh, just because we don't want to call it cornhole. Yeah, we don't, cornhole's not. Yeah. And there's a well, lot of... Ours is, our bean bags are filled with beans. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, not corns. That's a good beer as well. Uh, Killian's Irish Red Irish is what Meathead beer. drinks when he drinks beer. That's a good beer. Part of my like vaping all over everything side, yeah, guys. So cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. <laughs> cool points are going down on this video. Maybe for you. Yeah, just just for me. Joey B, drinking Coors Light right now. Have you ever heard of Revolver beer? I have not no. heard of Revolver beer. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Cornhole should only be used when necessary. It's like an emergency word. Right now I'm drinking some Red Hook IPA, which is, you know, Red Hook is pretty, it's pretty a basic IPA. It's not, it's not great, but, you know, it's every man's IPA. Uh, Johnny, it's an onion smoke shack. You need a pipe and you need a little tobacco. I think he's talking about me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I spilled my beer all over my mustache. Uh huh. So yeah, what else is new? Yeah, nothing so, else is new. Yeah, speaking of of the beard, it's storing in there. All right, guys. Yeah. Bear with us tonight. All right. We're excited to be live and hanging out with you guys. It's a Texas beer. It's damn good. Joey says um, about the Killians. Yeah, the Killians is a good beer, man. I, I've tr I've drank that one before. Oh, love the Spock glass. All right, check this out, Carl. So you've got good Spock. But if you're familiar with the classic Trek episode, Mirror, Mirror, he also turns to evil Spock. Yep. What's up with that, y'all? Star Trek nerd right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Kenneth. Kenneth C. in the house. What's up, Hickory Heat Barbecue? How those ribs doing, man? Huh? It's a good glass. Shouldn't that thumb be tucked, Barlow? Oh, like right here? This one? This. I'm not sure what you mean, Chris. Yeah, what is it? What does yeah. that mean? Uh, evil Spock. Which do you prefer? Evil Spock? Oh, Evil Spock. Or Good Spock? I like Evil oh, Spock, man. Oh, Evil Spock. Yeah. He's so mysterious. Oh, I got you. Uh, like this. Yeah. 
Like that. It's more like that. Evil Spock says... That's what Evil Spock says. Yeah, right there. Love you guys. All right. Um, are you guys interested at yes, all? Yes, you hear Dolly Parton in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're listening to some of our We got some records. records. <laughs> yeah, we got a record player going in the background here. Yeah, we demonetize yeah. so we can just do whatever we want. Yeah. Oh, this this video is demonetized for your viewing pleasure. Yes. So we can do whatever we want. We can listen to whatever we want and uh, talk about and say whatever we want. We don't have to worry about anything tonight. Hope you guys are having a good time. Are you guys having a nice time? Because we're having a nice time hanging out with you guys. Love vinyl. Oh, you guys are solely tober. Yes. Eh, you know, maybe not... The yes. most sober in the world, but we're not yes. that far gone either. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you, what do you sing in karaoke, Christy? Matthew and I met at karaoke. Yeah, well, we've, we've already had this. We've already I know, but I story. like to talk about karaoke. Yeah. What's your karaoke hit so single, Christy? Christy, what's your karaoke hit single? Any of you guys out there, mm -hmm. what... What is your karaoke go-to that you just yeah, know? Yeah, that you know you could just sing. You could just hit every time. Yeah. We want to know what that's about. Let us know. Um, for you, it is... what? Brown Eyes Blue by Crystal Gale. For me, it's uh, Deo by Harry Belafonte. You know, it's... Uh, uh, what's... Uh, <laughs> how does it go? No, you it don't goes, even know how it uh, goes. Yeah, it's like... Uh, one bunch, two bunch, three bunch, jump! Yeah, the whole internet day. just crashed. Me say day -o. Daylight come and me wanna go home. Dolly, Tammy, and Loretta. Nice picks, Christy. Yeah, uh, Christy. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on. Any Top Gun songs? No. Not really. I love Kenny Loggins, but I just don't have that kind of voice, as you just heard. I, <laughs> I can't do Kenny Loggins. I think it's okay to be terrible at karaoke. Daylight come and me wanna go home. Yeah. Meathead says yesterday, yesterday by Paul McCartney and the Beatles. Yep. That's a good Can one. Can we all like meet up some, like in Toledo and go to karaoke? <laughs> all right. Uh, Baker Barbecue says me and Pitmaster Tim's together is friends in low places. Yeah, that's Dude, always a classic. You know, uh, I did that song karaoke at a bowling alley one night. Uh, it was a mixture of karaoke and bowling. It was it was awesome, and I I did that song for the first time, and I tell you what, there's an energy that happens when you sing. It's like karaoke magic. I've got friends in low places. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Camera Girls is oh, yeah. Mr. Jones. Uh, that's Counting Crows. I feel like that same magic happens with Don't Stop Believing. Oh yeah, don't yeah, stop yeah, yeah. believing. That's that's karaoke magic. Have you ever loved a woman? Uh, Derek and the Dominoes. That's a uh, you, well, lesbian clubs. There are some of those. We do live uh, in Asheville, North Carolina, and you know nothing against lesbians or lesbian clubs. You know there probably are a little bit more lesbian clubs clubs here in Asheville than maybe where you live, uh, but. Uh, and they probably get down with some Derek and the Dominoes. So cheers What's to lesbians there? and three-legged dogs. <laughs> Meathead likes mostly instrumentals. Oh, Brian Moore, what's going on, man? Good to see you tonight. I'm gonna put the shades on. How's that feeling? Because this is the Smoke Sessions, y'all, volume two. Volume two. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Come on. You know, I, do I how how do how well do I know that song? I well, I don't even know what song you're talking about. I'm talking about that Derek and the Dominoes. What song is that song? Yeah, I'm gonna scroll up and look at uh, Johnny's comment here. Yeah, have you ever loved a woman? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Of course, of course, of course, uh, of course, lesbians love it. Chris, I know that you wear your sunglasses at night, man. Thank you. I'm proud to be in good company. Yeah. Oh, I think we already talked about how we met at karaoke uh, last time. Yeah. Yes. Our first interview with was it what was it was it yes. our first live stream or yeah. was it? I sang "Boots Are Made for Walking" and Matthew sang like 
Hell's Bells or something like that. Yeah, Hell's Don't Bells. Don't talk about the stripper. Hell's, okay. So yeah, that's the end. There's a lot more to the, the <laughs> night we met than what you heard, um, I believe it was yeah, for but our, that's all you need to know. our first night in the hot seat. Yeah. Yeah, it was a live that's stream. All you need to know. Yeah, but there's a lot more though. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> it involved ACDC Hell's Bells. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a 1972 Chevelle Malibu. 1972 Chevelle Malibu. Yep. Sorry, I'm repeating everything that you say. Yeah, that's okay. It's the most important thing. Yeah. I put my shades on and just walked into a wall. Yeah, Ouch. I think everybody should put their shades on. Right everybody, now. put your shades. Shades them if you got them, folks. Yeah, shades All right. Them if you got them. Shades them if you got them. Wait, I'll go get some. Let's go into night vision right now. Yeah, night vision. All right, night vision. It's time to get real. Let's talk about some real stuff, guys. It's gonna get shady. All right. Um, you know, I've been thinking a, a lot about what's happening right now in the world, and I'm not sure what to th what to say. But if there's one thing that I've that I've come to really appreciate and learn and know about the world right now, is that you guys right here hanging out, all y'all. I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for hanging out. Oh my goodness. And Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin decides to drop in and say, what's up? Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin, rock on to you. Speaking of all things good in the universe, Mr. Meg Mega Fred Zeppelin, sending out a shout out to you, man. Fred. Fred, Fred, Fred. Fred, okay. I love I love the sky shots that you do. That you, sh I mean, I love everything that you do, man. Keep it up, dude. We are Fred heads. Fred heads. Hashtag right, Fred there heads. There we go. Yeah. Night vision. Mm -hmm. Sunglasses on. We got the sunglasses on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right now, Fred head mode. All right. Although we're listening to country. Uh, Mr. Mega Mega Fred Zeppelin just joined us. Are you are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. He's right here. Yeah, he's right here. Well, cheers to you, Mr. Mega. Mr. Mega Fred. Fred. All right, let's talk about whether you like it or not. We're going to talk about um, some upcoming videos that we've got planned. You know, these are just some things that we like to sit around and. Uh, and talk about what, what do we have coming up. So this week, uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, we're going to be putting out our uh, next Thanksgiving installment video. And that is a, a Barlow tradition by Mrs. Martha here, bourbon cream gravy. Boom. That's right. We got some bourbon cream gravy coming up. We got up. some bourbon, we got some cream, we got some gravy. And we're cooking that up in some cast iron on our Lodge Dutch ovens. Um, that's coming out tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. And then Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, we've got the Ultimate Rib Tag Team Romance oh, Challenge. Oh, so romantic. Yeah, y'all don't know what's about to drop uh, on Saturday morning between let's see if i can remember everybody don't you guys put on little puppy faces on that thing and talk to oh, each other oh and snapchat oh yeah yeah, we get to yeah we're, we've been snapping all about this so saturday morning we've got the ultimate bromance <laughs> rib challenge oh look you got a snapchat right oh, now oh snapchat from yeah. kenneth cunningham right now i'm trying to live stream man come on he, he, he. <laughs> No tofu. <laughs> no tofu. No tofu, not ever. No, no. You will no. never see us do tofu no, on this never. channel. That's not natural. I promise you that right now. No. No right. tempeh, no tope, no tofu, no Satan. What's that? Evil, Satan. E evil fake meat. Yeah. Oh, nice. meathead. I'm looking for that skirt what, steak. Oh, he's talking about the bourbon, um, the bourbon that we used for the bourbon oh, cream gravy. No, too. Uh, oh, meathead, you did tofu. Did tofu. I bet you it was great. Well, I'll still watch it, and I'll still like it, and I'll still support you. Yeah. Man. Yeah. You know, you may see us doing some hippie crap over on our channel, but you're not going to see us doing no 
tempeh or tofu or anything like that. We got to draw the law, draw the draw the line somewhere. <laughs> draw the law. Draw the law somewhere. Um, so we got the bourbon cream gravy video coming out on Thursday. Martha's been making that for quite a few years for our, our Thanksgivings. I think like ten years. For ten years, and yeah, that's that's a long time, and. Yeah. So the bourbon that we used in the video is actually some Jack Daniels, but I remember watching the hot seat last week and with, uh, was, uh, Tom Tom. And there was a discussion about whether or not Jack Daniels was actually bourbon or a, uh, quote unquote, I think it was Tennessee sipping whiskey, which is not quite the same thing as bourbon. Tennessee sipping whiskey? Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, um, Chris, you might have to help us out with this one, but we use Jack Daniels for a bourbon in the bourbon cream gravy, but it's technically bourbon, but Tennessee classifies it as a Tennessee sipping whiskey. What is, is a sipping whiskey means that something Same that damn is thing. so tastes so delicious you want to taste it, you want to sip it, or that yeah. it's so gross you want to sip it? It's just the same thing. Jack is a sip and whiskey bourbon. Keith Betang, what's going on, Keith Betag? I'm sorry, I said your last name wrong. I'm an idiot. Keith, thank you for joining us tonight, man. What is a sipping whiskey like? What's that? Like something you'll have after dinner or? Jack is a sip and whiskey. Bourbon comes from Kentucky. What is Coming back. All right. Yeah, you'll get that, man. We're back. That bourbon gravy's coming up. Um, Keith, yeah, Keith brings up that point of there's a difference between sipping whiskey and then like Kentucky bourbon. So we called it bourbon cream gravy when we were making it, but then I just got enlightened to all these but like nuances. But it is nuances. technically a bourbon. Yeah, it's technically a bourbon. That's what we're going to go with. It's I mean, fine. what can we do? We've already shot the video, guys. Yeah, it's fine. It's coming out. It's coming out. Jeez. And we're going to call it bourbon cream gravy, all right? Even though it's Jack Daniels, but... It's bourbon. Only you and and, and I know that. It's sipping bourbon. It's sipping bourbon. Sipping whiskey. Sipping whiskey. Yep. Um, we've got... Sipping whiskey gravy. So that's... <laughs> sipping whiskey gravy. But that's coming out on... Uh, Thursday, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, and we cook that all up in a nice uh, little Lodge Dutch oven action for you. Uh -huh. uh, we love cooking in those Lodge uh, Dutch ovens. It's so much fun yeah. with fire and hooks. And we just got the Dutch oven, so we're still learning how to cook with those. Yeah, spiked gravy that's for sure. Right. Christy, mm -hmm. that's right. It's spiked gravy. But it's really, it's really freaking it's good. It's delicious. It's so delicious. Yeah. It brought tears to my eyes. It was so delicious. And that wasn't just the whiskey. No. It may have sort of got some of it been the whiskey. Spike gravy. I could call it that. Spike gravy. Sipping whiskey gravy. Oh. Keith, that's a good idea, man. I like sipping whiskey gravy. Yeah. That's got a nice ring to it. But I, I just feel like, you know, we don't have... We, whatever we want to make it. Is the video already done? Yeah, I just finished the video today, so that's going to be... Yep. Uh, the way you better sip it all or you'll be in the Oh, bag. Pat Travers. Pat Travers. Uh, great song called Snortin' Whiskey. I like the sounds of that song. We've got some vinyl records playing in the background. Let me lift you up right here. Oh, can we show off our record player? I don't think we can. I could. Oh, you could I don't want to move it around, but if you guys can see that... All right, wait. Martha Let's will open it up. I'm going to show you. Hey, what's going on, Beamer TV? Cheers to you. So this is for you. You open this up, right? Can you see? And then you pull the record player out. And it's got an A-track player. It's so nice. There's the vinyl action right there. Oh, uh, Chris wants to put some Jerry on. I don't have any... Uh, no! I don't have any Grateful Dead records, unfortunately. That's all right. Uh, Hobo Nickel Barbecue. Sometimes the computer likes to shit itself. It happens. It just happened to us. We had to restart our live stream. So. It's uh, better than yourself shitting yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday's video is going to be the uh, tag team rib bromance challenge. 
it's not what you guys should call it. You're going to get demonetized. Yeah, we're going to get demonetized <laughs> right bromance away. Bromance Tag Team yep. Challenge. Yep. Hashtag Bromance Ribs. Um, this is a collaboration that Hickory Heat Barbecue started, also known as Kenneth Cunningham over at, also known as North Texas Barbecue Addicts. Giving a shout out right now to that group. What's up, y'all? Um, so there's eight channels that are doing this collaboration. We're all doing spare ribs, and we're all using a similar rub. And I, I don't want to give too much away. That's all I'm going to say. But it's got a lot of great channels all coming together for that collaboration. And those videos are going to drop Saturday morning. It's just going to be a bomb. Like It's going to be an explosion of ribs all over YouTube. Uh-huh. Great. They were amazing ribs. I was trying to get them to make them again last night. Oh, yeah. They were some amazing were ribs. And I'm sure I know everybody who's taken part in this collaboration is all amazing ribs. Oh, uh, Keith says, it doesn't matter what you title your vid now. It's going to get demonetized. So, you know, that's that's pretty true and everyone's talking about like it's the automation or it's the um it's the algorithms but according to what google says it is the machine learning so this is artificial intelligence like like 1.0 this is this is the start of like artificial intelligence what's happening right now they're just kind of like getting it getting its legs going with like, hey, can you figure out like what YouTube videos should be monetized or not monetized? And right now the machine learning is like pretty dumb. And it's like, well, it's got the word smoked in it. So it must mean smoking and smoking is bad, obviously. So we shouldn't have, you know, we shouldn't promote anything like that. So the machine learning over at YouTube has a lot of learning to do. So give it a little bit of patience, and I think, you know, I'm hoping it's going to be okay. But just put in that request for, for them to review your video, and I haven't had any problems. Like, it'll demonetize it, but once I see that, I'm like, all right, it's a dumb machine. It doesn't know any better. It doesn't know what I'm talking about. Go on. Sorry, guys, rambling. Hey, I think I just saw that it's uh, Mega Fred Zeppelin's birthday. Holy, uh, sh holy shoot. Someday. It was... Scrolling by. I'm scrolling oh, by. Oh, there it is. Tomorrow. Happy birthday. Tomorrow. Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. Tomorrow. Hey, yep. Tomorrow. 51. Happy early Super birthday age. to you, Mr. Mega Fred. Cheers to you, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Mega Fred. Yeah. All right, so beyond this weekend with the uh, rib explosion bromance that's happening. Uh-huh. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like yeah. holiday extravaganza. What do we have planned? What's coming up? Oh, What's yeah. coming up on Barlow Barbecue? Um, we're going to do a bunch of Hasselback things on the grill. What's a Hasselback? A Hasselback. Are you talking about Days of, David, Days of Hasselback? Day, day, yes, Days of Hassel, Hasselback. <laughs> talking yes. about David Hasselhoff? Yes, Okay. I'm always talking about David Hasselhoff. Oh, Anything you should I'm be. talking about, it's yeah. actually really about David Hasselhoff. So how does David Hasselhoff relate to Hasselbacks? What's up with the Hasselbacks? Um, Hasselbacks are just a weird way of cutting some things, and then you can slather it with butter, and you usually roast it, but we'll put it on the grill. We're going to put it on the grill? Yep. Make okay. it three ways. What are we going to be Hasselhoffing? Oh, we're going to Hasselhoff some uh, an apple? A butternut squash and a sweet potato. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Hasselback three way right after your bro. Your oh, we're gonna have romance. the Hasselhoff three way, y'all. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. don't miss out on the Hasselhoff three way coming yeah. up next Thursday. So you can just say whatever we want now. <laughs> <laughs> demonetized. We're demonetized, baby. Yeah. We ain't got nothing to worry about. We're going to do some turkey hot wings, which we oh, yeah. stumbled upon just oh. by accident, and it was the best thing that happened, so we're going to keep it a secret. Tell me about some turkey hot wings, because those are so I'll good. I'll tell you about those later. All right. Well, tell me about them right now. <laughs> tell, tell, tell everybody out there who's oh, hanging out. We smoke some turkey wings, and we do them like uh, hot wings. Those are great. Yeah. 
Have you guys ever tried turkey wings done hot wing style? You have to what do we feel? Oh, the Hasselback one. Yeah. That's a good. Christy says we have to yeah. film slow motion. We can save them from the ocean. For a Hasselback ep episode, film it slow motion Baywatch style. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's a good call. You can just wear like a Speedo and a leather jacket yeah. for it. Yeah. Hey, y'all, time check. It's 930. We're planning on going another 30 minutes. All right, just to let you know. And we're also planning to continue to drink some of this Dewar's Fine Blended Scotch what Whiskey. What before? Dewar's? Dewar's. Dewar's? <laughs> Dewar's Scotch Whiskey. i get some whiskey. ice. Uh, so, so we've got Did another... Did you really go to the bathroom in your pants, Hobo Nickel? Uh, well, he's just laughing so hard. <laughs> so we're going to plan on going another 30 minutes if y'all want to hang. Great. If you all don't want to hang, I totally understand. Um, <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. It's, it's awesome to hang out with you guys. And with Tibetan bowls. Um, Chris recommends the Tibetan bowls. They're actually out in my car. I've not brought them in since this weekend. Um, I've got to bring those in from the car. I've got a couple uh, giant crystal bowls. Maybe I'll I'll end with those tonight, Chris. You got to check out the crystal bowls, man. Tibetan bowls have nothing on the crystal bowls. So, if you want to see what the crystal bowls are all about, stay tuned. They're coming up. Loving it, Chris. We're loving it too, man. Joey B, C3, how is the rooster today? Oh, uh, C3 is always Christie's. Always calling all day. Oh, I'm going to do some decoding right now. C3 is Christie's cooking channel. Channel. Yes, C3. I like that. C cubed. All right, so we've got the turkey hot wings coming up. Sorry, yes. guys. We're just going to keep talking about our stupid videos until we see you guys comment about something cooler, and then we'll talk about that. All right. But if you guys have any questions for us at all. We're not looking forward to winter, but I'm looking forward to having some miserable videos out in the snow that yep. maybe things suck for us, but everybody yep. else finds it interesting. Yeah. I, I, Every time of, it snows, I'm like, let's go out and cook. Part of the spirit of our channel is about like cooking outside, if you haven't noticed already. Um, I'm not saying we'll never do anything inside, but we really want to try to do our videos outside, whether or not that's snow or freezing Did you say cold weather. Wrong in the grill? What? Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to scroll up and look at some chats. Oh. oh. Uh, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin did say we have such an all-star cast of viewers here. I love you all. My sentiments exactly. All-star cast right here tonight. Love every one of you guys. So I, I want to. I want to see what. Oh, in for the grill barbecue. Wonders if you said something wrong. Not that I know of. What did you say? Not that we know of. If you did, I'd like to know what it is. Yeah, That's if you did say way something, exciting. yeah, yeah, let us know. Not to not to bring you out, but uh, oh, camera girl uh, wants to know what we had for dinner tonight. Um, we had some. Uh, we had a roasted vegetable salad with goat cheese. Yep. And honey Dijon dressing. Mm -hmm. And what was that other thing? Some kind of chicken soup. Yeah, some chicken stew that you yeah. uh, made earlier. Yep. Yeah. Some leftovers. Leftovers. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Yeah, you know, we had some leftovers tonight with uh, some, that salad that Martha made was really good. Yeah, the goat cheese was really good. Yeah, he said eh about something we were doing. That's cool, though. Yeah. Vape life. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Exhale off camera. Um, let's see. We're talking about some uh, upcoming videos. What else do we have? We're going to be cooking outside as much as we can, despite That's the snow or the cold. Um, we're not really used to setting up for inside, like shooting inside, but you know, if, you know, I think there was a video that we did when I, back in like early, like late March, it's the, uh, corned beef, smoked corned beef Reuben oh, sandwich Canadian video. Egg. That was, that was inside. 
Um, so, you know, there's nothing against being inside, but we're really going to try not to be inside if we can help it. Although Martha wants to start doing some baking videos. We'll see. I bake a lot. I, I Barlow bakes right I here. Bake, I, bake, I bake all the time. So, but that means we have to come inside. Yeah, That's do you okay. guys... You guys want to see us come inside? Because Martha's got some great baking skills. We can yeah. try it. Barlow bakes. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just worried about the lighting and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Although the lighting outside is not much better, it's really hard to film outside. Like, but <laughs> uh, Christy's cooking channel would love to see some more baking. We're gonna try it out. Um, you know, it's you got to do it every week, right? So why not try it out? You know, <laughs> Barlow Russia, bakes. Of course you would. <laughs> uh, Hobo Nickel says, Barlow diversified. I got your lighting solution. <laughs> All right, man, we need it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Big's Home Cooking, Wake and Bake, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know it. We could just do breakfast baking stuff. Yeah, Everyone's Barlow, ready. Wake and Bake. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin, have a great, great birthday tomorrow. Yep. Happy birthday to you. on tomorrow. Yeah, dude. Happy birthday to you tomorrow, dude. I'm going to see you tomorrow night at, uh, hopefully going to see you at the hot seat Ooh. tomorrow night with the uh, Hobo Nickel Barbecue. That is tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, and that is with Mother's Barbecue. Tomorrow night, Hobo Nickel Barbecue, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I want to give a shout out to the to the hot seat man. You are killing it, man! Loving what you're doing with the hot seat, so good. And then the week after that, so we got Mother's Barbecue this week, and then next week is I think it's this guy Greg over at Realistic Barbecue. Uh, you might want to check that out. That's awesome, man! I, I can't wait to see both of those. Ballistic Barbecue. Yeah. Heard he's kind of kind of the guy around town. Uh, Brian Moore asks, what all can you do with butternut squash? We can I'd do like to so see that. many things with butternut squash. Um, yeah, we've done some We're, stuff with acorn squash. I'm trying not to inundate every single vegetarian recipe with squash. Yeah. But boy, I love squash. So I want to do pumpkin soup and butternut squash. And more squash, and more squash, but. The squash is really like pretty easy. Oh my goodness, it's Phil and Florence. What's going on? How you doing? My man Phil, what's going on? Thanks for coming by tonight, hanging out. Um, the squash. Oh, I saw a macaroni and cheese with squash in it, butternut squash in it. It's everywhere these days. We're going to hassle back it, though. Yeah, the squash is really versatile. You could do it with so much. We just had the acorn, like, stuffed, smoked acorn squash, what, last week, was it? Yeah, so we're trying not to yeah. over-squash. Yeah. And so check out that. Um, we got all winter to squash. If you're trying to get your squash fix, we're going to he we're here to help you. <laughs> I got you covered. We got you covered. <laughs> we'll help you out with your squash fix, yeah. all right? Yeah. This is great. Might take us a couple months because we're gonna spread out the squash. You gotta spread the squash out. I mean, you gotta do it every week, you know. Jeez. Can't be squash every I mean, week. You could do, you know, it's like might as well do it. We're on the final record. Oh, the final record. Yeah, so Lee we've Hazelwood got, is our final record. We've got another just over 15 minutes to go before we close it up. Unless you all just want to keep hanging out, we're not doing anything else. We're happy to be here with you guys. So, we're thinking about doing, um, we've got some turkey hot wings coming up. We already spoke about this. Oh, we're thinking about doing a smoked pumpkin pie in the Dutch ovens. Yeah. We might just try it out. We're not sure how it's going to turn out, but... Well, it's happening on Thanksgiving, whether it may not get filmed, because it may be a disaster. Yeah, we're going to try it on Thanksgiving, but that's going to be a, you know, that's just going to be a... It's a private moment. A, a fa Barlow family thing. You know, um, <laughs> but if it, if it turns out to be something interesting, we're gonna think about doing that. Yes, yeah, I want to try to bake more in the Dutch ovens, but I yeah. feel like it's pretty unapproachable. Yeah, like who's gonna do that? Uh, Johnny Onion says he's in California and it's only quarter to seven there. So hey, we'll keep rolling. Keith says, how about joining with me and Tango Joe on our never-ending popper challenge? Yes, 
Martha, right. make a note of that. Yes, I would love to do that. I just watched uh, uh, Tango Joe's latest jalapeno popper never ending challenge video and that was with the man he had pulled pork he had radish going on in that he had uh and then he like instead of bacon he used like these uh thin pieces of bologna i think it was some kind of like some kind of like oh yeah like we that. hit 700 subs thanks oh, we, Bobo nickel we had 700 subs tonight yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're gonna. Cool. Tr- we're hoping that maybe it'll be a thousand by the end of the year. We're, we're shooting for a thousand. Yeah. But we also are also just shooting to do good things. Yep. Really, that's true. We're yeah. just shooting to get through things, y'all. Yep. Really. Solid, solid content. Yep. Yep. Been doing this for about four years now, Keith. Yeah, man. We're we're just getting started. Uh, it'll be a year for us in March. Not and for I, me, though. And I want to, Keith, I'm hoping to come up and join you guys. We want to join you guys for one of your Labor Day get-togethers. Where is that? Um, I think Keith is up, um, I think close to the Midwest. You guys are up there in the Midwest, right? Yeah, we'll be in Virginia Beach this I year. I think so, yeah. Would love to get up there for a Labor Day. Uh, Southern Indiana, yeah. 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 Uh, my grandmother used to live in Huntington, Indiana. And visited there a lot when I was growing up. And I've still got a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles in Illinois and the Midwest. So Midwest, Midwest love right here going on. So we'll try to, uh, Northern is, Northern, Northern is Huntington. Okay. I was little, so I wasn't too good with my geography and I'm still not too good with it right now. It's not, it's all Indiana though. So it's good. We'd love to get up there for a Labor Day. We're, we're thinking about selling the house and just buying a little scamper camping van. And yes, just, just hitting the hitting road. the road and just doing barbecue, barbecue on the road, country. hitting up state parks and camping grounds, and you know, sell the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll see. We're, we'll see. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. But we yeah. talk about it a lot. Yep. Screw it. We're just daydreaming right now. Yeah, but you know, you know, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've got, uh, what else have we got coming up? Mm. I mean, we got some ideas up our sleeves. So we're hoping to, like, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, that's when I think we're going to, like, uh, have some, some, some surprises and, like, do a giveaway, uh, some things like that. Thanks, Christy. Thank you, Christy. And uh, thank you all for, for hanging out and, and for your support, man. I mean, it's a support. And it's the community. That's why we're here right now doing what we're doing. That's why I get excited about going live. It's not so I can just talk about, oh, what videos do we have coming up? He it's just like, wants to hang out with I just, everyone. I just want to hang out with you guys. Really. That's what it is. And that's what it's always We come about. up with some things to, like, talk about in case, you know, we need to, like, go go to the emergency or something. But it really is just like, man, we just love hanging out with you guys. And, and that's why we're here. Give out a new vehicle when you yeah. hit 1,000 subs. We need a new vehicle ourselves. Uh, we need a new vehicle <laughs> ourselves. We got two of them. How are we going to pull on that scamp when we're driving around the country? Yeah. Hey, Martha's going to be working on our Subaru tomorrow, try, trying to change out the fuel filter. There's been a little bit of issues yeah. going on with that. I think it's um, easy. I've, yeah. I've seen four YouTube videos on it. Yeah. I've got this. She's yeah. got it. She, I, I believe in you. Yep. I believe in me yeah. too. I'm going to be at work, so I can't, I'm not around to work it's on cool. it. It's cool. I got this. Martha's got this. She can change that fuel filter. Yeah, I no totally problem. Googled it, Phil. Thanks, though. I got this. We'll let you know. Hey, maybe yeah. we can do a special Barlow barbecue working on the car yeah, Barlow, edition. Barlow, Barlow barbecue car mechanic session. Yeah, yeah. We gotta expand our audience a little bit, right? I'm just gonna set it up. We'll do like a live smoke session while I'm trying to like yeah. have gas spray on. Yeah. Me. Uh, Keith says the best part of doing this, the friendships and memories you make. And dude, Keith, you are so right, man. That's been one of the. Um, one uh, number one thing that I've enjoyed most about doing this channel is just the, uh, the just the connection with new people that it's that it's been about and the opportunity to connect with people um, so good and that's 
That's what yeah, it's all okay, about. Yeah, okay, Mrs. Hobo, I will get on that. Oh, uh, Hobo Nickel says, hey, Martha, can you make a dairy-free potato dish? Mrs. Hobo is lactose intolerant, and I want some damn mashed potatoes. Lactose hey, intolerant? Listen, uh, Mrs. Hobo, I'm just going to find a recipe, and I'll just send it directly to you if we don't get to do a video yeah. so you can have some damn potatoes. <laughs> Make a note of that. We're, I got we're, it. We're taking notes. We need a, <laughs> ideas. Hey, ideas that you guys would like us to to, uh, to do some videos for. Let us know. Uh, Meathead, good night. Good night to you, sir. Hope it's goodbye, sir. Yep. Good night. Yeah. Thanks for coming out tonight, oh, man. Oh, you missed mashed potatoes. I got you, man. Ah, uh, almond milk. We can do better than that. Meathead, I love you. Good night. Almond milk. We yeah. Almond milk. Yeah, but it's not thick enough. I think if maybe you mixed it with something. You almond milk this. is too watery. That's the problem with yeah, almond milk. Yeah, but maybe milk. if you did like like make one of those Alfredo sauces that we do with the cauliflower and kind of puree it up and yeah, 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 you've got to thicken it up a little bit. But we'll, we'll work, work on it. We'll work on that one. We'll come through. We'll come through. We're a couple hippies over here, so you know we got that. See, I know you don't. Popo Nichols says he doesn't know the hippie science. Yeah, I get paid to know the hippie science. She does. She does. <laughs> but I also do the bakery science. Oh, she does. She got all the science. All yeah. the science. Oh no. Just been doing without for three I years. Think you without can what? Like the mashed, but just the mashed potatoes, or just some kind of potato. Is it just the mashed potatoes? Oh, hemp milk. Uh, have you been? Chris, have you been going without mashed potatoes or potatoes in general? Hi, Daddy Cooks. What's up, Phil from Daddy Cooks, man? Dropping in. What's going on from Parts Unknown? I like that Parts Unknown is capitalized because yeah. is that like a town in Missouri no, or no, something no, that's like that? No, Parts Unknown. Parts <laughs> Unknown. Yes, he is in Parts Unknown. Yeah, thanks for coming by, man. How you doing? Um, let us know about those mashed potatoes. I think that's a good, that's a it's good, a good call. It's a video. A it's good, not a, it's, it's a, a video. Good, yeah. All right. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that, but I'll, maybe I'll send you the recipe if we don't get it out before Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, you need it before Thanksgiving. Yeah, don't show us a holiday. Show us some damn mashed potatoes. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of dumb. You're, it's okay, baby. I know. A little dumb. Just mashed. It's hard cooking for someone... So our reading chats as they pop yeah, up. Yeah, Here they go. Yeah. You got it? We're reading Hobo Nichols <laughs> chat. Just mashed. It's hard for someone with no dairy when you never did the rest of your life. How the heck do you not eat cheese? Yeah. I know, man. I know. How, how do you not eat cheese? Yeah. We love cheese. Martha's on the scene. I'm on the scene, She's yeah. She's on the scene with that one. You can trust her for that. You can trust your hippies on this one. Yep. Yeah. I'll take it into Martha's test kitchen. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no dairy. No dairy. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yep. Yeah. Is it vegan or is it just they just don't eat dairy? Yeah, vegan. Can there be butter involved? Can you have butter in that? No, that's dairy. No butter. Yeah. I don't know. This is like no man's land for me. Yep. I'm really... I am not sure about this. Like Martha, a little butter, just like a little bit of butter. Okay. Yeah. No, no. But that's not dairy free then. So I think that Mrs. Hobo is lactose intolerant. So like as little dairy as possible. Yeah, I got this. You know, it's the idea. She was, she, so she's got it. Yeah, I think barbecue Baker barbecue's on the right track. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, maybe use like a food mill because it uh, makes the the potatoes really fluffy. It's yeah. a pain in the arse, but really yeah. it makes the best mashed potatoes. Yeah, and Keith uh, says just try a little chicken stock with the potatoes. Yeah. Um, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, you're in and, the Middle yeah, East. Yeah, parts unknown. P parts unknown. What's is he Middle doing East. there? Well, you're gonna have to talk to Phil about that. Oh, Phil. Yeah, it's classified information. Ain't yeah. no more. Yeah. Well, top secret. Mm -hmm. Phil, Phil is on uh, top secret parts of known missions in the Middle East right now. And if I would have to guess what Phil is doing in the Middle East, it's probably he's trying to 
trying to widen the market for oh, doing cold talk. Trying to widen market for speedos in the Middle East. Oh yeah, because yeah. they don't have enough speedos yes. anywhere. Phil anywhere. Phil Riddick is a speedo s- salesman. Yep. in the Middle East. Undercover. Undercover. Parts unknown. See, parts unknown. Sorry, oh. Phil. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. <laughs> Help it. <laughs> you know we love you, and we know we respect what you're doing over there in parts unknown. Selling Speedos. Mm-hmm. So on our end, the, the uh, live feed is telling us that we have a very bad connection. Yeah, so we do. Hopefully it's been okay for you guys tonight. And we're coming up on uh, 9.55 p.m. Uh, Phil, uh, Daddy Cook said he's just kicking ass. We don't care what they're called. Okay. Keep oh, kicking marble ass. marble bags. Yeah. So we're going to keep rocking. I mean, you know, we're planning on wrapping it up at 10 o'clock tonight, but if y'all are just joining in, if you guys are having a nice time, you know, hanging out, that's all we're doing is just hanging out, and that's really what we're here doing. Uh, What's a banana hammock? A banana hammock. Yeah, banana hammock. Yep, all the different words for Speedos. Banana Uh, hammock. uh, Daddy Cooks, you did miss it. We are drinking some of this uh, Dewar's Dewar's. uh, white label. Yeah. You know, there's nothing, you know. My mom's Scottish Terrier. It says it it is the true scotch. She smelled like cheese later on in life. Yeah. So we're trying it. This is our first time trying the Dewar's uh, scotch. Highly recommended in a scotch aisle. So far, it is pretty good. It's it's smooth. Once again, Dewar's highly drinkable. It's very smooth. It's a blend. Very smooth. I do um, do get a little bit... I do get some uh, sweetness from it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of... A little bit of honey, um, but it's very smooth. Very good. Doers. Doers. Uh, Vaughn says Pretty share good. it. Pretty good. Share it. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Uh, what else are we going on? Oh, we just hit 700 subscribers. We already talked about that. I know. We just talked about that. But yep. Keith says he's out of here. We'll watch for you. Good sip and whiskey gravy vid. Keith, have a good night, man. Thank yeah. you a lot for Doers coming out tonight. is a good overall scotch. Yeah, it is a good overall scotch. Yeah. Keith, it's uh, nothing to be ashamed of. The gravy video will be up t- tomorrow night. Thanks for coming out tonight, man. Good night, Keith. Bon oui. Huh? See, I spoke French. Oh, spoke a little French, I did you? I spoke some French. It was undercover. I'm going to go check out the music real quick. Oh, you got to flip all the yeah, records. I need to get the music going. Here we go. We have an old record player where you can stack all the records on them and then they go down. I think it's terrible for the records, but... We're lazy. Uh, Oh, well, the new theme song, we've been trying to get the folks who wrote it to record it, but they're um, artists, so it's hard to pin them down. They're like butterflies. Musicians. Vaughn, why do you not like us or still like us? I think I missed that. I'm glad you still like us, Vaughn. Oh, what? uh, CJ? Is that CJ? Um, No, I don't really know. Good night, Keith. It's hard to read all these things at once. Gotcha. Uh-huh. I never know what to say on these things. It's hard. It is hard. Yeah, I mean, Hobo Nickel knows, like, he's he's got the pleasure of interviewing somebody every week, and at least there's somebody else there to kind of, yep. like... You know, but for us, we just like, hey, it's just us. We're hoping you guys hey, are Cooks. having a good time. Uh, good night, Phil. Thank you for coming by, man. Have a wonderful night out there in um, Parts Unknown. Yeah, be safe in Parts Unknown. Yeah, be please. safe in Parts Unknown. And I think he's coming back soon. I think you're coming back in December, aren't you, man? Hope so. Party hard. Wait, yeah. what's happening here? Oh. Yeah, you got to get that record player working. Baker Barbecue, get your record player rope. Sorry, it's been drinking a little bit of scotch. <laughs> get your record player going, man. Yep, it's so much fun. Sometimes you just have to send a wafer a needle. Go check it out. I'll give you guys a close-up. Oh, a, a what? Of Our, the uh, record player. Got to do something, play. yeah. 
Good to me. Wish I could. I can't. I don't. I don't think I could switch the uh, thing around. All right. Let me uh, get over here. There we go. This is our living room. So open this up. So check it out. We've got an eight track too, man. And the eight track player works perfectly too. Sort of perfect. Yeah. So we've got this going right here. You can stack on the records. It's playing the bottom record. Sorry guys, it's kind of janky. Woo! So it's got this cabinet. Beautiful warm speakers. The speakers on these are so nice. Check it out. turn this down a little bit sorry guys just had to do that a little bit so we've got we don't have a lot of records here we just have this collection but we've got like a whole milk crate of shit and we've got this right here got our Himalayan salt lamp because we're hippies right and we'll come back to the table we've got the vinyl going again That was our living room. That's our living room for you. What's going on? Melissa from Cooking with a Little Spice. I'm trying to plug in my iPhone here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you need some help, dear. There it goes. Pull it together. Woo! Oh. There we go. Oh, Hobo Nickel wants to see the bar, the bedroom. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> we'll give you the full tour some other day. <laughs> nice lamp. Yeah, it is a nice lamp. Uh, Vaughn wants to see brisket on the Weber. I've done one brisket video so far, and that was on the 4th of July. It was actually started on the night before, on the July 3rd, but that video is up on the channel. Um, overnight brisket, I think is what it's called. Um, and it came out okay. Um, the brisket was dry in the flat, but perfect in the point. I think we just should just cook all the time. But yeah, we will have another brisket coming. I've not, you know, I've done brisket a few times, only filmed it once. Yeah, um, hobo. Shh. Oh. There's so much more to yes, the story yes, of the... it's a long story. The brisket video, the brisket, the brisket video. story. Yeah, there's a lot more to yeah, that story. Fine. Yeah. But we will get back to brisket again. Yes, we will do brisket yeah. again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, check it out, Vaughn. It's, um, yeah, it, it turned out good. I was happy with the way that the brisket turned out. But the, 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 uh, the fun of it was my brother was here and visiting from Pennsylvania. And it was 4th of July. It was a wonderful it was 4th, of 4th of July. It was there just was a, a lot of beautiful, lot like, of just a lot of colors patriotic happening. Patriotic love going on. Patriotic love going on yep. on 4th of July. and like. So our first year with real fireworks, because our whole neighborhood, you know, sets them off. And every year for three years, we've been... We'll watch the neighbors set them off, and we're like, next year we're going to have them. So this year we represented... At yeah, we got we got minutes. the real fireworks uh, this yeah. year. The mortar fireworks, the ones that you set off in the yeah. tube, and yeah, the, the mortar fireworks, not the ground fireworks. So we had those for the first time this year. It was it was great. Um, Vaughn, we have not messed with any, with any sous vide uh, stuff uh, yet. What am I bringing with taters? Um, we've seen a lot of sous vide, you know. People, you know, doing that. We tend to try to cook outside as often as possible. So it's, it's. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say probably never going to happen on this channel, but it could happen for What's sure. It's not happening. Wait a minute. Sous vide. I don't know what that is. No, oh. Martha doesn't know what the. I, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's a French term, sous vide. Oh, oh yeah, I got the mashed tater recipe, but you don't get a hobo nickel. Hmm. Good night, Phil. Thank you, man, for coming out tonight. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Good night. 
Um, sous vide is a, a so it's a. Um, yes, you do hobo nickel. Don't worry. Go ahead. What is it? It's like cooking your. It's cooking the meat in in, in water for like a long time. Oh. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, hobo nickel. I didn't know you have one of those. Chris says he's got uh, one of those uh, sous vide machines. Um, so it's like a little cambro full of hot water, and there's something that like it, it, it keeps the temperature the same, and so it cooks the meat while it's submerged in water. Okay. And some people, I, I've seen Phil at Daddy Cooks do sous vide, where he, he does his ribs um, submerged in the water, you know, in, in like a vacuum sealed pouch. Okay. For several hours, and then he'll finish it on the grill. I've seen it done with steaks. You know, it looks like a pretty cool way of cooking. But we're we're pretty much about the fire here. Oh, Chris says, pour that man another one. Oh, what's that say? Is it backwards? Is it backwards? Can you guys see this backwards or forwards? I wrote it backwards. I wrote it backwards. Can you read it backwards? Chris, are you going to make a video about the sous vide this uh, weekend? Oh, yeah? I'm looking forward to seeing that one. They asked about it. They asked about... What, I gotta get on, I gotta get on the mashed potatoes recipe. So you don't get it, but... Um, oh, you, no. Martha's made the note. I have made the note about the mashed potato recipe that is dairy-free and without cheese. And that is awesome. Oh, good. I wrote it backwards knowing it would show right on your end. I'll be right back. Oh, you're leaving me alone? Nope. No, you're not. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Nice. He says that he's planning on doing. Let me oh, look at that chat again. We're doing it on a mobile device, so we still have to like keep hitting our phone to like check out the chat, see what you guys are saying. Hobo Nickel can't read it; it's too far away. Oh, I think that would be a great way to reheat pulled pork, though, man. So good. Probably like the only way. That's it, right. Yeah, Johnny says Thanks, backwards Johnny. writing. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Y'all hang out with Martha for just a moment. Oh, my word. I'll be right back. If that's light is too much for you. All right, so... Um... <laughs> I still don't know what that sous vide is, but... Yeah, so you're, you're submerging... I sort of got it. Yeah. Anybody seen one of those electric, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, thanks, cheers. What do you guys think about those electric fryers? Like those like oil-free fryers? Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what he is doing. <laughs> is that just wrong? Is that just not right to like uh, fry things without oil? I've been looking at them and wondering. Christy, do you have one of those? And I never know what to say on these things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Three C's has got to have that gadget. I've been looking at it. That and the mini donut maker. Gadget girl. Yep, go, go. Go, go, gadget girl. I'm pretty low, go, go gadget girl. I feel like the, uh, the Dutch ovens are gadgets. You have three of them? You have three of you have three of everything, Christy, Christy's cooking channel. Just smile. Yeah, that's what I do, Vaughn. That's that's what I do. <laughs> it's better than frowning, I guess. He's probably deserted me for like the next hour. Let's do a live smoking session and then I'm gonna go in the back. That's not nice to say at all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he's tricked me. He's gonna go away and then he's gonna leave me here. That's okay though. So I wish that we had cameras that could go outside at night so we could just, I always just wanna cook over the open fire now that we have the Dutch ovens. I'm just gonna ramble. Yep, you see? He's never coming back. Maybe, I think maybe he's trying on different hats. He's probably has like eight cowboy hats or some camo baseball caps that he's trying on in there before he can come out. We'll see, maybe. He'll come out in his camo speedo. <laughs> Thanks, Brian, I'll just keep on smiling. <laughs> I grew up in Canada and I still can't speak any French. And, um, and mostly in the North, in the Northeast. I don't like the winter time and wish you could move to the beach. We have been dreaming that we would just like sell everything and just go hit the road, mostly to the beach. Yeah, this is great, isn't it? Taco Tuesday at the Barlow's? Oh, thank you. Oh, and the Barlow Crouch. I think it's hard on the knees is what I think. <laughs> He's gonna come out in his camo speedo in any minute now. You know, we don't have any children, but we do have a very smelly pug. And his name is Taco. So this is Taco. And he is so special to us. We have had him for so long. He smells so bad. <laughs> but I love him so. So we got him the year before we got married. Isn't he handsome? He is very handsome. <laughs> and we love him so much. Yeah, and he puts up with a lot of bullshit. I mean stuff. He's about 13 now. Whew, so smelly. But, you know, I figure that when an angel fall that falls down from heaven, he's probably pretty smelly. And he's certainly a little angel from heaven. Yeah, he could have been hitting the doers a little bit hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. poor guy. But he is a good little buddy and hangs out with us. And he loves barbecue so much. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit weekend at Bernie's, he is. He smells kind of like weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, he was sleeping, he's a little sleepy. Yeah. Uh oh yeah I had to bring up sorry guys because it was just me <laughs> sorry. I was like rambling girl oh yeah all right, all right. Yeah, you yeah I had to bring taco out Cheers. yep we guys are we're from the Northeast yep thank goodness jeez <laughs> that was rough sorry what guys what happened to you I was just doing something yeah just doing something yeah Jesus. Looks like a doer's dog. He is a doer's yeah, dog for sure. Doer's dog. Yeah. Yeah. Smells like cheese. Oh, uh, just stopping back for before we retire for the night. Mr. Oh. Mega Fred Zeppelin. I had to use the little boy's room. Yes, I did. He's I had to go to the bathroom. Dump, speed dumping. Yep, speed dumping. <laughs> I don't know. It took a little longer it than anticipated. It took a really long time. I was away for a little bit. Sorry, you were. guys. I didn't know what to talk about. I so felt what, are like we, a... what are we talking about? What did I miss? Uh, yeah. Nothing? Dropping some kids off at the pool? Yep. You know it. Yep. No, I wasn't doing anything of the sort. Well, actually. what were you doing? It took All forever. Right. I had to change the batteries out in my stupid oh, gosh dang vape. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. Pretty yeah. lame. Pretty yeah. lame, guys. New world record. So... They just tell me keep on smiling. <laughs> keep on smiling. 
Oh, yeah. uh, the dog's tongue is always hung out. That's just how he looks. We got Taco many, many years yep. ago. Many years yep. ago. Um, yeah, before a, we got married. At a, a dog pound in Arizona. Look. That's where we lived before we moved here to North Carolina. Yeah. And <laughs> his tongue was hanging out Why then. Why would we get him? Why wouldn't we? Look at us. We it was love, love at first sight. Dogs. Yeah. It was love at first yeah, sight. Yeah, really. We were all meant to be together. Yeah. 19, yeah, it was in 1967. Well, about 10 years ago. Yeah. 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 Is that no, weed? that's not weed. No. No, we don't do anything like that here at Barlow Barbecue Bar. What are you talking about? Give the dog weed? No, he probably he saw me hitting this. Oh no! And I was like, he asked if it was weed, and I was like, no, oh, I sir. thought you asked if we gave the dog weed. No, <laughs> no. This is 100% pure awesomeness that I'm in, inhaling. You're not weed. Yeah, every time I inhale this, it's just like so it's pure just awesomeness. not weed. Every time he inhales them, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. What's BC Bud? BC Bud, no, no. Like I said, Everybody man, we don't do is. any, we don't do any of that stuff over here. Even though we call it the smoke sessions, we're not doing any of those oh, kinds of stuff. Picture over the TV. Oh, that thing's amazing. Oh, um, you want to give them a little uh, close up I here? I don't know how to. That's your job. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just turn the uh, video around. There's our lovely light. There's Martha. Oh, and there's John Wayne, but he was in the last one. So this is a velvet painting right here. Yeah, it's it's in velvet. It's quite a you masterpiece. You want to turn on that light down there? It's it's hard to see. It's dark. We have shitty shitty lighting. But the ultimate one, this is a velvet painting right here. That's John Wayne right there. Yeah, that's when he died. He got trapped in velvet, and we own it. <laughs> Just get a load of that, would you? Velvet. Where's the dog playing poker? Chris is wanting to know. Martha has that. We do have a whale. That's from Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. That's where that comes from. They're and, wondering about this though. Yeah, giving you a little. Yeah, this is velvet too, so the ships are the ship is a black velvet right here. These lines, and then the rest yep. is just painted And on. the rest is just painted on there. Arizona was just like a treasure trove of velvet. Yeah. Amazing. All right, Chris, you want to see the stove? We'll do it quick because the battery is low on the mobile devices. This is our wood stove. This is one of, one of our two means of... Sorry, it's out of focus. It's dark. It's dark. Sorry, guys. It's really shitty. Big Lou Barbecue. Oh, man, Robert, what's going on, man? So this is our wood stove that does a really good job. I just cleaned out the chimney last week. And now it leaks. Doing my uh, seasonal chimney cleaning there. We do have central heat here, but uh, that wood stove is awesome. And there's our uh, Dutch ovens right there. Kind of. Yeah, we love the ceiling, man. It's just like wood ceiling here. Moon window right there. Sorry it's out of focus, guys. There's Martha. So we've got a pretty cool living room. And then some other time we'll show you. So. This is uh, actually just some French doors that open up. Uh, opens up to a screened-in porch out here. Screened-in porch is outside and our yard faces out that way. So it's there's, a pretty cool, lots of, lots of natural light in our living room. Because you guys are always, you only see us outside. You never get to see inside, so here we are. Here we are inside. Here we are inside. And this John Wayne velvet painting right There's there. John Wayne. Yep. And the wood stove right back there. Martha does a wonderful job keeping all these plants alive throughout the year. And this guy, uh, yeah, right there. That's an ancient relative of Martha's. Let me flip you around. 
because I want you to see this guy. This is a uh, great, 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 great grandfather McJilton. Check this guy out. Let me try to focus you in on this guy. Yeah, Robert, don't try to come up and steal anything, okay? <laughs> be kind of lame. I don't think it's worth anything. <laughs> This is the one thing that we, if we went on Antiques Roadshow, this is probably what we would bring. Is this and painting right here? And it was worth twenty five dollars. I don't know. This this guy is maybe not, maybe a that's thousand. a huge painting. Just just to give some like, yeah, just to give some how perspective. We're fit it in the scamp when we go camping cross country, but yeah. yeah, come back. All right, we're gonna come back. Because Big Lou is casing the joint. We don't yeah. want him coming up here trying to steal anything. What's he going to steal, that giant painting? We've, uh, we've moved many times. We've moved across country many times. And that uh, painting of Father McJilton yeah. has Grant, been... Yeah, we have to drag that cross country Moved every in time. like a big wooden crate every time. Yeah. Yeah, this is also our dining this room. This is also our dining room. The <laughs> kitchen, the kitchen is up there. That's where the kitchen is. It's kind of a, it's like a small house, but it's really laid out like kind of cool. Like the living room is really big as you guys can see. And so we decided to kind of put like our dining room table where we're sitting at right now. We decided to put that here. And then we've got like our couch. Which is kind of nice. You know? So when you eat dinner, then you can just go lounge on the couch. Yep. And those French doors open up to our backyard. It's got a screened-in porch out there. So it's a pretty cool setup. But it's like, you know, we're, we're under, we're on just under an acre here. And, uh... It's just the two of us and Taco, so Yeah, there's just a couple a of us, yeah. Big Lou, we're enjoying some fine, uh, Dewar's... Dewar's! White Label Scotch Whiskey. Yep. Next time we'll get the 12 year, maybe, I don't know. It's yeah. pretty good though, as I said, totally drinkable. Yeah, yeah. Let me hit that light behind us real quick. Oh, you wanna see the kitchen and Taco's bed? No. That's what Hobo Nichols wants to see next time is the kitchen and the taco bed. That's next time. Yeah. Now what do you say? Uh... Oh, Vaughn, uh... Uh, Onion, uh, John, Johnny Onion says, I love Asheville, one of my favorite places I've ever been. Asheville's okay. Yeah, it's got, actually, it's cool. Asheville's great. It's got lots of great places to eat, and lots of play, great places, and, you know, to go out to drink, and there's yeah. so many beer. There is a lot of things here. There is. You know, we've just yeah. been here for a little while, I think, uh... Yeah, we're thinking about the beach. Yeah, we're thinking about the We're beach. thinking about buying a little scamper trailer and just hitting the road and we doing... We keep on saying that. Barlow Barbecue <laughs> on the road. Like, you know, doing... Like hitting up... Um, is that the midlife crisis? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe but it is. you only live once as far as I can tell. As far as we know. As far as we know, you only get one shot of that at it, so you might as well do what you, you want to do. You might as well live in a scamper. Scamper. Live in a scamper. Yep. Uh, doing... Uh, cooking outdoors on the road. Yep. National parks. Yeah, national parks. State parks. Not showering. You know. That part's the part that's not so great. Oh, I've got a shower. Yeah. I'll, I'll oh, find yeah. a way to yeah. shower. Okay. It's going to yeah. be like the bag, the yeah. bag shower that you yeah. hang in the tree. Uh, there's, you know, if, it were, if we're nearby a natural body of water, I will just bathe in there. That's how you'll shower. That's how I'll shower. Yeah. Yeah. That's why God created rivers. I don't need a... Don't need a solar shower for that. <laughs> Just go jump in the river. You maybe not. With a March, bar of soap. In March? Oh sure, why not? Uh, I'm a, I don't know, Onion. I don't think I want to shower at a truck stop. Oh. No, Barlo has not played the bowls yet. No, uh, Mr. Robert Lewis Jr., we have not played any bowls why yet. Why should you always shower at a truck stop? I feel like that's where you should never shower. Got to catch up. Maker's Mark is good bourbon, Joey. Yes. Yep. Nothing wrong with some Maker's Mark. Mm -mm. Woodford Reserve is also, also like you can't go wrong with that one Yeah, that one one's either. great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big Lou, we've been drinking a little bit of uh, some scotch here tonight. So apologies for... I think we've been keeping it pretty pretty tame. It's about a PG-13 rating here tonight. Maybe. Trying to keep it cool. Yeah. But 
Thank you. Cool. Thank you for coming by tonight. Thanks for hanging out, man. Probably not that exciting anyway. Yeah. Hey, we're going on an hour and a half. I know. Jeez. What? Thanks, Hobo. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, we're just we're just no. having fun. There's a, but what is the shower like, Hobo and Nicole? I feel like I don't want to take a shower at in in a truck stop. I don't know. Vaughn Vaughn um, Vaughn Precision asks if we was wondering about oh, desserts yeah. on the barbecue. I've been Can we do about, that? Yeah, I think that I think that we could do that. I just need to practice a little more. I've made a lot of dessert. I've done a lot of baking, but I've never done it outside over the open fire. So I have to practice a little bit. Otherwise, it'll just be a lot of videos of me screwing stuff up, which could be cool, but it's not. I don't really want to post videos of us screwing stuff up. Yeah, though. I'd rather like screw it up and then yeah. figure it out. You yeah. Know. Although I was thinking about starting a separate channel calling, uh, it's going to be called Bill Fry. Secret the, dessert. Bill Fry, the cooking guy, and it's just a character who just screws up cooking all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Johnny says oh, go pilot to a pilot's bathroom. pilot bathroom is nice and clean. Okay, well, I'll keep that in yeah. my in my travel diary for when we live in a scamp trailer. Yeah, uh, Chris, we got to do more screw-up videos. Jeez. I just start a whole channel devoted Joey, to it. I like to cook also. I was trying to convince Matthew to cook outside today, but he wasn't having it. It was kind of rainy and crappy. Yeah, it was kind of rainy and crappy today. I just needed a break from cooking outside because we do it, you know, so often for the channel. It's just like... But sometimes I just off. look whimsically out the window and like wish yeah. we could start a fire. Yeah. No, Johnny. <laughs> dude, your videos are great, man. You do you do a great job. Like, come on, man. Let's let's be real. Let's be real. So, your your last video it didn't quite get the uh, flavor that you were going for. But man, everything else that you did, the, the, the entire cook looked really good, man. But I hear you, like sometimes you just want that little extra ingredient for a, for a, like a flavor profile you're going for, um, and you don't quite get it, it's it's disappointing. But It is. Johnny, your channel is full of goodness, okay man? Full of goodness. Don't... What, what is the boobs? I don't know what, in the grill says boobs. I don't know yeah. man, watch it. Because he heard the Tulsa turnaround playing in the background. Boobies. I don't know. Boobies. What's, right. what's going what's on with the boobs? What's going on with the boobies? <laughs> Is that how you make a successful channel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to have boobs for a successful yeah. channel. Yeah. You could just have it like flash across. Just boobs. Boobs and bacon. Yeah. Boobs and bacon. Boobs there and bacon. There you go. Boobs and bacon. Yeah, he, Chris was wearing some enormous boobs. He was. Oh, that's what they were talking about, the wigs and the boobs. Oh, sorry, guys. We can't, like, we're, your chats are going yeah. by pretty quick. But it's like a mystery and a riddle that we get to we get to figure out later. Yeah. Uh, John King. No, there's no attachments. No attachments to Bacon the vape. boobs. Hey, John King, I wonder, man, is this the John King that I knew back in gas jacket days? Give me a sign if, if that's if that's who you are, man, John King. But no, it doesn't have multiple attachments. Just one attachment, and it's it's called the dumb attachment. It's like the dumb vape attachment. Oh, Is that him? John King, gas jacket man. What's going on, dude? Oh my goodness gracious. I've seen videos of Gas Jacket. That was Matthew's first band. Was it your very first band? Oh, Gas Jacket was a, uh, um, a awesome... Barbecue bacon jacket? Awesome punk rock band back in my early years, probably late teens, early 20s. John King was a fantastic guitar player. Uh, yeah, man. John King and I ripped it up together on Gas Jacket for a couple years. And I'm glad you're here, man. Thank you for coming by, dude. It's 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 great to see you, dude. Um, I wish I had, like, maybe, John, maybe you have some old gas jacket material. I would love to, like, find a way to get that online to at least, like, for people to access. And at least for me, because I don't think I've got any copies of what we did. We put out a couple cassette tapes. Um, we wrote a lot of really good songs that's what I'll say John King you can back back me up on this if you agree 
but uh, Gas Jacket, punk rock, back in the day. All right, John says he has a, he has a tape. You can work something out. Oh, I would geez. love to do it, man. Yeah, I've got like an old like a recording of one of our tapes. Um, yeah, I saw you guys uh, in an interview on one of Matthew's parents' home videos. Uh, Matthew yeah. had very slicky hair yeah. and wore a leather jacket and had a wallet chain or some kind of jeans chain that went down to his ankle. Oh yeah, I had spikes on my leather jacket right here. Um, John King kept me in check, kept me punk rock. Um, if you have if the we tape, we all need a good friend that keeps us punk rock. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would love to hear that tape, John. Um, if there's a, if there's a way that you can get it online, that would be awesome. Yeah, the mohawk. Oh my goodness, dude, you're you're going way back. But I've got the same haircut right now that I did back when we first met, man. That that much I do know. This pre mohawk is what I had going on right now. Joey, did you just say that you have got ten briskets going on? Nice, you kill it, Joey. Joey, you should video it. Don't may video it. Do it, all right? Hey. Okay. Do that it. That sounds man. like a great time. Yeah. Yeah. No, may video it. Yeah. Video that, okay? Come on. And and tell me where I can subscribe because I don't know if I've subscribed to you or not, man. I know I know you've subscribed to our channel, but I want to I want to get in touch. All Hi, right, Big Lou. Big Lou, we are having fun and uh, would love to see you soon. Good night. Thanks for coming by, man. Good night, Big Lou. Looking forward to checking out your spatchcock turkey video. Hopefully it gets re-monetized yeah, for you. Yeah, it's because there's cocks in it. Yeah, this is because you said spatchcocks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can't do that, guys. You can't put cocks in it. Yeah. All right, Joey says he hasn't launched, launched the, page, the page yet. Well, you better get on it, Joey. All right, man? Get on it. And when you do, let us know. Because I want to see you doing 10 briskets, man. 10. Yeah, that's awesome. 10. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I'd love to see. I mean, you know, yeah. I have enough trouble with one. Yeah, You're doing 10, amazing. Dude. That's awesome. Way to go. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, like, maybe I'm just stupid and I'm not missing, like, I've missed the original Joey B page, but you just said you're doing a new one, so just correct me on that, man. Just get in touch. Send me a direct message. You're trying to get a new Traeger Timberline 1300. Yeah, man, Joey, just uh, direct message me through YouTube uh, with your channel, please, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to subscribe and check you out. Vaping, one attachment, dumb. One attachment. Who's the rapper? No. Yeah, Kenneth Cumming Cunningham is trying to uh, message me right now. He's no longer watching on the on the uh, YouTube, I, I suppose. We've got a awesome rib bromance collaboration coming out this Saturday morning at nine o'clock. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, on our end, I just do a rack of ribs with a really nice rub and some hot honey garlic glaze on there. They were so good. That uh, uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, they turned out so good that we didn't even make it inside the. Yeah, Eden. we just. I uh, I remember it was the most glory, one of the most glorious moments of my life because I watched the fall sunset while I ate one of those ribs in the middle of the yard, just standing there. We never even made it away from the picnic table. We just ate standing up. Yeah. We just ate the ribs yep. right there standing up at the picnic table. Yep. Left so our good. plates inside. Yeah. Table was all set. Yeah. So didn't even make it. <coughs> all right. We got Ori from Go Outside and Cook joining the party, man. Good evening, sir. Hey, yeah. good evening, dude. Oh, wait. Um, wait. Beer in hand as well. <laughs> as do I. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've been going for an hour and a half, over an hour and a half. We should not be on here anymore. No, we should not be on here any, anymore, but we're doing it. No. Ori, thanks, man, for coming out. Cheers to you, dude. Luckily, it's just yeah. you guys who are watching, which is great. You guys are keeping us going tonight, really. Thank you. All right, cheers, y'all. Cheers to you, Ori. I just saw the video. I didn't watch it yet, but I saw that you put out a video today. Love the thumbnail that you put together for that. Really nice, and I'm looking forward to trying it. And I want to try the um, uh, the tri-tip Santa Fe style. Oh, tri-tip. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, not Santa Fe. I think it's Santa Mar Man, I'm so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> It's this. It's one attachment. It's stupid. Um, I want to try the video you just put out um, last week with the uh, with Santa Santa Fe or Santa Maria. Uh, try Santa something. Cook. Santa Claus. No, it was awesome. Santa Maria. Buddy. Santa Maria. That's it, man. Thank you, Santa Maria. I want to try that. <laughs> yeah. I Santa try that. Claus. Um. But there's a style. Yeah, dang yes, you're right. Ori, um, the Santa Maria uh, tri-tip. You you kept talking about um, a certain style of grilling. Um, I can't remember what it is. But and and help me out here. But it's it's it seems to be a style that's where you've got the meat up here. You've got your heat kind of down here. Um, but it's a specific style of grilling that I want to do a little bit more research on before I go for that tri-tip and in the Santa Maria style. Um, I know... What does that guy say? Um, it's, you'll pop up with it in just a moment with what, what, what I'm missing. But it's a certain style of gr grilling and I wanted to learn a little bit more about what you... Like what that technique is, uh, Sonia Maria style. Oh my goodness, Greg! Ballistic barbecue, salt, pepper, live oak, and a pinch of love. What's going on, Greg? Thanks for coming out tonight, man. Oven pit, elevated over the fire in open air. See, all we have is alls. Well, yeah. <laughs> all we have is a camp, like a campfire, and then we have a Weber kettle grill. So I'm not sure if we can if we can like produce that style of cooking open pit elevated over the fire in open air yeah so a kettle grill is not going to cut it in that department i don't think but maybe like if we could if we could figure out some way to have like an open campfire going and have the meat going over that campfire like uh, elevated above that obviously there's nothing and it's not enclosed at all it's just all open air i'm gonna have to do a little thinking about that because i i really want to try that i want to i want to try that style of grilling um it's i can't do it with the weber kettle grill so it's gonna have to be done on like our our campfire pit i think so uh, Onion Smoke Shack says, check out Gabby's Grill online for the 22-inch Weber Kettle Grill. Um, and then Ori says, elevate it over the campfire. That is the traditional style. Think cowboy cooking. Yeah, man. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking that sounds, that sounds really good. I love, like, I would love to try all sorts of stuff doing it that style. I would love to try ribs that way. Like, we've seen ribs just do, like, enclosed, slow smoke over a period of time. I would love to see them done, elevated over, you know, over an open fire yeah, in like open air. Like, yeah. Like, ah, yeah. Over the over our open fire. Let's build that. Yeah. 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 I mean, we are, our, our setup right now is not, not the greatest. But, you know what, screw that. It is pretty cool. We just have, you know, we're showing that we can do a lot of different things with, you know, you don't need a lot of gadgets. You just need a little bit of imagination. You're Gabby's fine. Grills. Gabby's Grills is a Weber attachment. Thank you for that. I'm going to check that out. Um, have you guys ever heard of, it's a new company. 
we are here in Western North Carolina. Um, so right below us down in Georgia, there's a company called Kudu, K-U-D-U, uh, Kudu Grills. Check them out. They're on Instagram. Um, if they are doing, they're producing grills that's all about that open air elevated style. So they've got like a cast iron, like kind of like foundation where you can put your wood or your charcoal. And then they've got, they've got um, bars with swivel grates that you can cook things on up here and you can move those grates up and down. You can swivel them out and about. It sounds really similar to the style of cooking that we're talking about. Um, Kudu Grills, K-U-D-U, Kudu Grills. Um, I haven't seen really anybody on YouTube using those. And those guys are right down in Georgia. Um, I think those guys are pretty similar. Oh, uh, Big Lou just came back from his bedtime saying... Oh, hi, Big Lou. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, actually, I was trying to think up somebody... Uh, I'm writing new questions for your uh, for your barbecue group. For the barbecue group, yeah. what do you want? What are you writing? Martha's well, writing some questions <laughs> for what barbecue group? Well, no, um, your friend your friend Kenneth couldn't didn't know the questions and he was texting. What are they? Oh, so now I'm just making gotcha. up fake questions like why are you so lame? I see. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Martha is changing her vape battery, but she's yeah, also. That's right. So this Saturday is when the uh, Rib Bromance Bomb is going to explode on YouTube. It's going to feature eight channels, um, and it's going to feature all of us doing spare ribs. We're all going to be using the same dry rub, um, and then we're all going to be answering the same five questions that James from over at Amum and Clamum Barbecue put together. So it's, we're all going to be answering the questions of, uh, like, what is your favorite? Uh, give us an idea of what one of the questions are. Um, if I remember correctly, one of them was, when did you first discover your love for Matthew Barlow's beard? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah. That's question number five. Yeah. Uh, number question number two is how many reps of weights did <laughs> did uh, cooking with Tom Tom do in his behind the scenes brisket video? Uh, you want to you want to definitely ask know that one for sure. Oh, I don't have any internet connection. Yeah, <laughs> I have to send this. <laughs> yeah. Love you, Tom Tom. Hashtag I'm with Tom Tom. Ooh, Tom Tom. Yeah. So I'm going to scroll through some of the chat. Yeah, I got to check out the Gabby's. I've never heard of that before. So thank you guys for letting me know about that. That probably, whoops, sorry. It's probably something I love to do. So I want to try that Santa Maria style of cooking. Open air, open fire. Like that's what it's all about, man. Yep. Oh yeah, how did you get started making YouTube videos? That's one of the questions yeah. that will be answered on the uh, Rib Bromance Challenge that's yeah. dropping Saturday morning. It's going to be, let's see if I can remember all eight YouTube, I think there's seven or eight YouTube channels. Let's see if I can remember all of them right now. First off, we got Hobo Nickel Barbecue in the house. We got Corby Q Barbecue. We've got Hog and Smoke. We've got Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. We've got Dave's Ohio Barbecue, right? Um, let's see. We've got James over at Amum and Claimum Barbecue. And then we've got one more, and that's Hickory Heat Barbecue, Mr. Kenneth Cunningham. What's up? Bam. Boom. All seven of those channels can be dropping bombs on you this Saturday. Yep. I'm writing my own questions for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Did you see my questions? Uh, why are you so lame? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that can't do it. So, guys, we've been going for almost two hours. Yeah, it's time to go because this must think, be speaking of why are you yeah, so lame. Yeah, why are we so lame? I think it's yeah, probably time for us to wrap it up tonight. Like, 
Sorry. Yep. Well. Just happened. Yep. It's because doers happen. Do it. Doers happened. With doers. Yep. And I'm empty, so I need a little refill. Oh. oh. So. This yeah. is the. This and is it. Last this is call. It. Last call. Last call, y'all. Last call. I need Been a little ice cubes, right? Too, we're just we're just neating it. Okay, we're gonna go neat right yeah, now. Yeah, it'll take too long to get ice cubes. Okay, so we've got last call right now. What's up, you guys? What do y'all got got for us before we go? <laughs> <laughs> Who asked the lame question? Why are you so lame? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just born that way. Yeah, so we're all born a little lame. Yeah. It's okay. What's not lame is all of you guys hanging out tonight. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. not lame at all. Yep. Seriously, every video we We're put out... We're kind of lame, like, but you know. At the very end, when I awkwardly say, thank you for hanging out today, we I totally really mean, mean it. mean it. I totally yeah. mean it. Yeah. First call, Joey B. Yeah. Well, here's to you, Joey B. And uh, Carl over at Baker Barbecue, you just said, making a last vodka shot too. Let's do it together, man. Uh, Ori, thank you, man. Thank you for coming out. Yo, you are awesome, dude. And I'm going to check out some more of oh, that. Oh, the plant in uh, the corner behind us. I'm gonna, oh, that thing. That's a red banana plant. Oh, yeah, that's a banana plant. It's an ornamental banana plant. Yeah, this it one. It comes in in the wintertime, and we try to stifle its growth, and it's by putting it in the corner, because yeah, otherwise it's keep, too big. We keep that outside, but it just got, you know, yeah, starting to get winter. cold. So. We, we bring it all inside. Yep. All the bugs and the plants yep. came inside. Yep. yep. Ori, I'm going to do some more research on that open air barbecuing. I really am intrigued by that. I want to explore some more of that. So thank you, man. And thanks for coming out tonight. So we got the banana plants hanging out. Yeah. We got all the plants. We got a whale hanging out. We got the wood stove hanging out. Winter is. I can wait for winter. I don't like winter. We hate winter. We no, moved we here from like uh, Arizona, man. Ugh. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of winter. No. I don't. We don't like cold. No. We want to go to the beach next. Greg, good night, man. Thank you for coming by tonight. Hope you. Yeah. Thank you. Bon oui. Yeah. Yeah. That's good night in yeah. Canadian. Bon oui. Bon oui. Bon oui. Bon oui. Bon oui. Yeah. That's. I don't know much French. Ten years in Canada. Uh, like I said earlier, the only French I know is fries. Yeah. Toast? <laughs> Toast? Kisses? Kisses? Yeah. Greg over at Bar Ballistic Barbecue, uh, making American cheese great Good night, again. Christy's cooking channel. <laughs> Good night, Christy. Or uh, C3. Yep, C3PO. Right? C cubed. Good night, Christy. Good night, everybody. I think it's time we should all go. go. Oh, kiss the girl. Uh, Joey B, are you talking about us putting an email in our about section? Yeah. There you go. There you no, go. no, no, Hold no. No. Simmer down. Simmer, Simmer down, down. There, Chris. Come on. Inappropriate. Yeah. French style. <laughs> Yeah. Do it like they do yeah. in Francais. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> like I said, the only the only French I know is fries. Well, we almost did two hours of this. Chris, take yeah. notes, man. I'm so sorry. I'm All sorry. Right. That it's All right. Um, yes, Joey, we will put our email address in the about section, and we'll get that we'll get that covered. Thank you. Two hours. It's lame. We it's kind of it's lame. We should go. Two hours is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. We hanging. Yeah. But yeah, we're hanging. <laughs> good night. Good night. All good right. night, sweet folks. We are going to leave. Yep. We're gonna. It's too long. Yep. But not too long. It's just right. Well, whatever. It's just like it's so great to hang out with you guys. It's yep. so great to be here. Yep. What a fun bunch of folks. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you, it's guys. It's super great sharing this yeah. time with you guys. Cheers to everyone. Oh, one more cheers. Oh, one more time. Final salute. Final salute. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. And it's not going to be soon. And uh, <laughs> until we see you again, smoke them if you got them. That's right. That's right. We'll see you all tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. That's right. Super right.
Bye. Bon oui. Thank you guys. Bon Love oui. you. Trying to. Oh, there it is. Love you guys. Bye bye. Bye guys.